Hey everyone, this is Asif Khan. So in this video showcase, I have built a personal protective equipment retention system using Django and Yellow V8. So you can see this is a video streaming and here we can see a video streaming over here and here over the sidebar we have option to choose no waste, safety waste, no helmet, helmet. Over the sidebar, here is a confidence threshold. Here we can increase and decrease the confidence threshold. And here we can choose whether to detect no waste or safety waste or no helmet or helmet. Here we can choose what you want to detect. So now you can see guys this is in the strict mode. So now in the strict mode it will automatically check check both no waste, safety waste, no helmet and helmet. So now I'll show you the dashboard. So this is a attractive and visual appearing dashboard. Here we are showing a real time data and we are fetching that logs. Here on the card we are showing total violation counts, PP classes and most frequent PP violation. So guys you can see here is a no helmet. Most frequent PP violations because it's 132 count. And here on the bar chart we can see no helmet on 30, 132 times and no safety waste 40. 49 and here we can see a recent detection logs here we can see along with images pp classes confident track id time span so now when we are doing a real time streaming here pp streaming so it is saving the logs over the over the models orm django orm and now we are fetching the models orm data from the models and we are showing this result these logs here we can see total violations summary so here is a total violation summary here we can search by track id by name and here we can search by start name here we can search by start time end time and we can apply the filter so we are showing this logs history here we can see along with ID, class ID, PP name, confidence, track ID, and along with images. So you can see guys, the video streaming, we are using Yulo V8. So when it is detecting a person without a helmet, so it is capturing his email and saving the logs along with image, like timestamp, track ID, confidence, and PP name and class ID. And here we have camera setting here we can add the camera ip camera webcam so now i have added two camera here so it will fetch the sources zero so for default webcam we can use zero and for usb webcam webcam we can use one for usb cam and if you have ip camera then you can enter your ip camera url and sources or rst rstp url and active I hope guys you like this if you like this then please do comment and share this video